The following is a presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future, and brought to you by HockeyTournaments.com, the best place in North America to list your tournament. Or, if you're hosting a tournament, find the right teams to compete for your title. Either way, if you're looking for a tournament this fall, winter, or next spring, HockeyTournaments.com is the place to be. Okay, make sure that that was the right mic. Go to HockeyTournaments.com today to find the package that's right for you. Well, on that wondering note. My name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to Retro Sports Network. And after last night's debut of Action PC Hockey 2019, I thought the best way to evaluate it is to actually play a game. And I think we've got ourselves a good one for you. But first, before we get into what we're actually streaming, I want to give a sincere shout out and thank you to all of you. I did not realize this until Al Red Sox fan told me this last night, the channel has hit 400 subscribers. There are 400 of you crazy enough to watch me stream fake sports. It's wonderful, and I thank you all so much. Uh, really, really genuinely grateful to hit that number. All right, so now on to the hockey game. We have a rematch of Game 7 of the 1987 Stanley Cup Final between the Edmonton Oilers with Mr. Wayne Gretzky and the Philadelphia Flyers, who are being led by Tim Kerr. 58 goals, 37 assists. These two teams went right down to the wire with a Game 7 in Edmonton to decide everything. Now, how good was Wayne Gretzky in 1986-87? And 121 assists, as you'll see in a second. He won the assist title by 49 and his point total of 183. Second place was 108. It's just absolutely astounding. So it's game seven, supposedly, between the Flyers and the Oilers. If the game goes into overtime, we will play it. Hopefully it's set up to go with five-on-five five continuous for 20-minute periods. And I think at 9 o'clock tonight, uh, Dave Little is going to do some History Maker Baseball on his channel. That's 9 o'clock Eastern. Let's get to it. Let's show you. Uh, the Flyers and the Oilers from 1987 right here on Retro Sports Network. And there you go. Those are the starting lineups for you. For the Flyers, it'll be Tim Kerr at center, 58 goals, 37 assists. On his right will be Rick Tockett in his 288 penalty minutes. On the left for the Flyers, Brian Propp. 67 points for him that year, 45 penalty minutes. On defense, starting for the Flyers, Brad McCrimmon and Doug Crossman, two good defenders. And Ron Hextall with the three goals against averages in net. He led the NHL with a 902 save percentage. For the Oilers, it's Wayne Gretzky at center, 62 goals and 121 assists. On his left, it's the Tikkanen, 34 goals, 44 assists. Yari Curry in that Kings uniform in that picture. That's just not right. 54 and 54. Paul Coffey, the offensive defenseman left, and Randy Gregg, 8 goals, 16 assists on the right. And Andy Mogan the, between the pipes, looking very early 80s there, almost European for Edmonton in his 3-5-1 goals against average. Mike Keenan behind the bench for the Flyers. Glenn Sather for the Oilers. We hide that. We click the game stance. Gretzky and Kerr at center ice. Computer will do all the line changes. How you doing, Dave? You are looking live indeed. Are we ready? Let's do this. Let's play the Oilers and the Flyers from 1987. Gretzky and Kerr on the faceoff. And it's won by the Oilers. Going to go to behind the net. They send it around and they've got a penalty already. Delayed penalty. Prop to Kerr the other way. Kerr. Tough angle for the Flyers. Mo got a piece of it, and it'll be touched up. That's the Tikkanen. He gets called for the trip. So the Flyers start on the power play. Peter Zezel, the center. Sinisalo is the left wing. Scott Mellenby, the right wing. Samuelson, I think it's Shell. 
Yep, is the left defense. And John Jacques Daniel, JJ, is the right defense. Killing the penalty for the Oilers. McTavish and Hunter, the forwards. Charlie Huddy and Scott, not Scott Muni. Craig Muni are the defenders. Face off to the left or to the right of Moog. One by Peter Zezel, who's one of the best at it. Fire to Zezel. To Sinisalo, they'll pass it around. Daniel. Daniel's going to get a shot from the right side. Moog with the save will get another face off. Peaches, huh? Oh, isn't that nice? So seven seconds gone in the penalty to take it in. And it'll be Zezel and McTavish again on the faceoff. And this time it's won by Zezel. Gets it over to Daniel. And Philly passes it around. Sinisalo. Long slapper from the left tip by Mellonby and a score. So Mellonby with the goal. Sinisalo and Zezel. And I don't. And that's the penalty right there. So 50 seconds or 56 seconds into the game, it's one nothing Philadelphia. And I'm assuming that we have no replay. So a good goal. And the penalty to Tinkin in was kind of harsh. Sinisalo with a good slapper, and Melanie just got the stick in and got it past Moog. So Tinkin in, Gretzky and Curry out for Edmonton. Poolin, Craven, and Brown. That's Davey Poolin, Dave Brown, and Murray Craven, Brad McCrimmon, and Doug Crossman. Paul Coffey. And Randy Gregg on defense for Edmonton. Going to be some goal scoring here. Puck is dropped. It is won by McCrimmon. We're pulling over the line now, and he's offside. So we'll get yet another face off. Kerr and Gretzky this time. Brian Pop and Rick Tockett are with Kerr. Samuelson and Marsh, the defenders for Philadelphia. Huddy and Lowe out there on defense for the first time for Edmonton. Charlie Huddy. And Kevin Lowe. Gretzky and Kerr from the dot. One by Gretzky. And stretch pass to Curry. Curry skates it in. He's got a slapper. Hextall equal to the challenge. And we'll get a face off. First time we'll see Mark Messier out there. Glenn Anderson is on his left. McClellan is on his right. Coffee and Greg on defense. That sounds like something you'd get at a store. Murray, a uh, Craven, Poolin, and Brown out there with McCrimmon. And Crossman. Pullen and Messier in the flyer zone. Lyman drops the puck. It's won by Philadelphia. Pullen won it. Philly flips it out all the way down the ice. The Oilers will set back up. Coffee, the quarterback. But Philly takes it at center ice. They dump it in. Edmonton will spin it back out. This time it's Glenn Anderson into the flyer zone. McClellan and Messi. Now we got a fight. Brown and McClellan go at it. And yes, you do hear punches there. We got a big fight. Brown and McClellan swapping punches. That one's a draw. Brown and McClellan get five minutes for fighting aside, and that comes at 2.58. So that's a new thing here. That faceoff, by the way, is going to be down all the way in front of Hextall. Gretzky with Tekin and Curry. Curry with Prop and Tockett. J oh, Daniel played at Worcester, played for Montreal. No helmet, McTavish. How you doing, ID? Um, you're ripping them. You're separating them. If you say you rip them, it means that you're destroying them. It just shows what the text was, Dave. So Gretzky and Kerr. First line center is on the faceoff and is won by again by the Flyers. Kerr wins it. And Philadelphia plays it ahead to Tockett. They dump it in to Moog. No chance. And back comes Edmonton. Gretzky in the zone to low. Slapper from the defenseman. That goes wide right. Samuelson has it for the Flyers. Edmonton has it at center. They dump it in the corner. And we're going to play dump and chase again. A scrum near the wall. Samuelson has it to prop over to Kerr. Kerr back to prop. Long shot. For the Flyers, and Moog will hold on to the faceoff. So now you see, ah, Mike Krushelniski, Nilsson, and Hunter. 
the forward line for Edmonton. Dave Hunter and Kent Nilsson. Everyone's talking about him. Coffee and Muni out on defense. For the Flyers, Ika Sinisalo, Peter Zezel, and Scott Mellenby on the forwards with Daniel and Crossman. Edmonton plays balance. Zezel is a great on the faceoff. One by Edmonton, of course, now that I say that. And Crucial Niski dumps it in the zone. Now Crucial Niski back to Nielsen, over to Hunter. Hunter behind the net. Hopes to have Crucial Niski in the slot open. He does, and Hextall makes the save. Loose puck behind the net, controlled by Crossman and the Flyers. They're going to change, and they'll move it up. Both teams change up. Craven to Carson, dumps it behind for Moog, and Edmonton will change it up again. Now Coffey into McTavish, the helmetless one. Over from Puzar to McTavish. Delayed penalty on Philadelphia. It's on Hospitar, who gets two minutes for slashing at 5.37. So 2.21 left on the Fighting Majors. And the first power play for Edmonton, two minutes for Hospitar. All right. Thanks for joining, Mark. Dave is already unsubbing. We have, we're not even playing in the Bruins or the Habs. You got a neutral game from me. Hospital off on the slash. Messier with Nilsson put the lime in the coconut. And Glenn Anderson, low and Smith on the faceoff. It's won by Edmonton. Messier to Anderson. Back to Messier. They dump it around. Smith, Steve Smith. Going to take the long shot. One-timer from Nilsson. Hextall knocks it with his stick. Got a glove on it. The rebound is controlled by the Flyers, and they clear all the way down. And it's Gretzky on the ice with Tekin and Curry. Muni and Huddy with him. 135 on the power play. Tekin and over the line. Has it to Gretzky. Over to Curry. Curry behind the net. They'll set it back up. They don't like their chances here. Huddy from the blue line. That's taken and open in the middle. By the dot, Hextall with a save, and he'll hold on. So 55 seconds left on the power play. Messier back out there with Nilsson and Anderson. Coffee and Greg on defense. Tockett and Kerr defensively for Philadelphia with Daniel and McCrimmon. I would think that you could. You just remember, Dave, that it doesn't have the power play or shorthanded written on the cards. But absolutely, you can use your old one. The rest of it, I think, should be just fine. So Messier and Kerr in front of Hextall. 13-18 first period. No score between the Oilers and the... Oh, no. one nothing Flyers. Duh. Uncle Ron not paying attention. Face off won by the Oilers. Messier starts this off. He's got it over to Coffee. Back to Anderson. Messier inside from Anderson. The Kerr checked and they couldn't get the pass off, and the Flyers will try to clear, and they do. So Messier has it. 31 seconds left in the power play. Anderson back to Messier. Through center. Messier to Nilsson. They set it up. Anderson. He's going to penetrate on Crossman. Anderson, a 35-goal scorer. Crossman forces him outside. Anderson, between the circles, Hextar gets a glove on it, and it's a save and a hold. So the power play is over. No dice for Edmonton. They have five shots to four, but the Flyers lead it one nothing. Gretzky with Hickenden and Curry. Curry with Prop and Tockett for the Flyers. TV timeout here on Hockey Night and... Burlington, Vermont, you thought I was going to say Canada, didn't you? And it's the Flyers won, the Oilers nothing. So Kerr and Gretzky on the faceoff. It's won by Gretzky. In the zone, Coffey. Going to take the shot from the blue line. Puts it on net. Hextall gets a glove on it. And we'll do this again. This time it's Burn or Poulin with Craven and Brown for the Flyers. Messier with Anderson and McClellan 
who's coming off the bench after the fight, so is Brown, for the Oilers. This will be drawn back if Edmonton wins it. Messier does. It goes to Anderson. Anderson has Messier kind of open in front of the net. Messier is open. One-timer. Hextall knocks it aside. Acrobatic save, and the Flyers clear. Messier back in the zone, over to low. Slapper blocked by Brown. Flyers have it. They dump it in the Edmonton zone. Craven, delayed penalty on Edmonton. Brown will take the shot. That's a block by Mo. Low block it, pardon me. And McClellan gets called for the slash. So nine minutes and change in the game. McClellan's going to be in the box for seven minutes. So Philadelphia on the power play. Kerr, Tockett, and Prop with Crossman and McCrimmon. Defensively for Edmonton, McTavish, and Hunter, Gregg, and Coffey. Oh, it does have the power play and the shorthanded. Yes, then certainly you can use any deck that you have as long as it's there. The big difference with the advanced and the super advanced uh, in Strat is that those calls are already on the action cards. And don't forget, Monday night, we're going to do a Stratomatic computer virtual unboxing for a hockey. I don't know why I'm looking at the camera. You're looking at the screen. And you'll see Game 7 between the Boston Bruins and the St. Louis Blues. Monday night, 7 o'clock, right here on Retro Sports Network. McTavish will want to clear this against Kerr. One by Philadelphia. Tockett to Kerr. Long shot. Moog with the save. Rebound. Controlled by Edmonton. Coffee slices and dices that one down. And Tockett hits McTavish before he can. Kerr the other way. Behind the net to prop. Right side dot. No, it is blocked by Coffee. Tockett has it behind the net. Now McCrimmon, heavy one-timer. That is hit by Greg. Now Prop has it. Flyers can't get a shot on. Prop will try to wrap this around, and he misses wide. Whoa, no, Mo got a piece of it. Deflected out of play. Trying to work with how the um, chalkboard's working here on the... On this. So, a minute 17 left in the penalty to McClellan about halfway through the first period. Crucial Niski and Nilsson out for this penalty kill with Huddy and Muni. Zezel with Sinisalo and Mellonby for the Flyers. Zezel and Crucial Niski on the faceoff. One by Edmonton. They hope to clear. And they do. Zezel sets up this drive for Philadelphia. Sinisalo to Mellonby. Mellonby. Does he get a shot? Yes, he does. Far right. Moog with the answer. And he'll cover it up. 41 seconds left on the penalty. 9.32 in the period. Shots now 7 aside. one nothing Flyers. Kerr and McTavish back out there. The, the, their respective lines. Prop and Tockett on the wings. McTavish hopes to clear. Face off is won by the Flyers. Kerr. To Crossman, to McCrimmon. A wrister deflected by Prop, but deflected wide. Tockett to Prop. Back over to Kerr behind the net. Finds McCrimmon. McCrimmon will shoot. Moog with the answer. Knocked it down and covered it up. 25 seconds to go on the power play. 9-16 in the period. one nothing Flyers. Crucial Niski and Nilsson this time. Seems like the computer is doing a good job in trying to keep the lines fresh. Prop Kerr and Tockett for the Flyers. Crucial Niski and Kerr. Face off was won by Kerr. Flyers hope to get another shot. Prop to Kerr. Tockett tries to wrap this around. No, but he gets around. Takes a long shot. Moog saving a rebound. Rebound is controlled by McCrimmon to Tockett. He'll slap that one. Moog again with the rebound. Controlled by Kerr. Kerr has it. Long shot. Nilsson with a block. Power play is over. McClellan back on the ice. 8.51 to go in the first. one nothing Philadelphia. McClellan to Crucial Niski, who's on. Over to Nilsson. 
winds and fires. Save and a rebound by Hextall. The Flyers control. Here is Crossman. Takes it out of the zone. Around the boards, Mogul play it, leaves it for Charlie Honey. Gretzky now takes it back in the flyer zone to Lowe. Lowe's going to take an outside shot. Oh, that's new. I didn't see that before. He shoots. Mellonby with the block. As my family's chatting back and forth on Facebook. Flyers have it. Marsh starts to drive the other way. Craven. And he's offside. 7-18, first period one. Nothing Flyers on this hockey special on Retro Sports Network. Go Blues beat the fate. Look, I picked these two neutral teams for you, ID, specifically so I wouldn't have to hear some people whine about, oh, there. So it'll be McTavish, Hunter, and Pozar on the wings. Pozar. Let's play a little bit. Coffee and Greg have seven minutes and five minutes, respectively. For the Flyers, Kerr with Tocket on the right, Prop on the left, McCrimmon and Crossman. Face off just outside the Edmonton zone. And it's dropped and won by the Flyers. Philadelphia has it. Chips to prop to McCrimmon. Kerr hit by Hunter. Edmonton gets it through center. Charlie Huggy's going to pass it into the zone. Taken it. Hit by Marsh. Here come the Flyers. They can get it through center. To tock it. Andy Mogul sweep it behind the net. Oilers will change in their own zone. McTavish through center over to Huddy. With the slapper, Hextall there. 5.58 to go. Shots 10-9 in favor of the Flyers, but they lead 1-0. Zezel and Gretzky on his faceoff. And so Gretzky will try to win this and draw it back. Faceoff in the zone is won by Philadelphia. Zezel is... To Mellonby, they'll dump it in. They'll play dump and chase. Power play coming for Philadelphia. Zezel with a drive. Moog with a rebound. And it will go to fought by Greg. And now we're going to find out. It's Wayne Gretzky on the hole. Oh, a hook. So Gretzky gets the penalty. 535 left in the first period. And Wayne Gretzky is going to sit in the box for two minutes. So the Flyers now have their third power play chance. And I'm going to take a drink. Excuse me. All right. Having a Coke and a smile, or a fake Coke, that is. So McTavish and Kerr on the faceoff. Prop and talk it with Kerr. Hunter is the forward out there with McTavish with Lowe and Steve Smith. Edmonton hopes to clear it. They do win the faceoff. Hunter will clear it all the way, and here come the Flyers. Marsh starts this drive up. Prop, two on two over the line to Kerr. To Marsh. One timer, Moog equal to the challenge. Stick save by low, and they'll dump it out. Mellonby to Zezel as Philadelphia starts again. Zezel throws it on the net. Oh, Moog got a piece of it with a skate, and the rebound goes to Mellonby. Mellonby will try to wrap it around. He missed wide. Oh, I'm sorry. Mo got a piece of it. It's out of play. So that's a shot. 112 in the penalty to the graded one. And it's one nothing Flyers. So Kerr with Prop and Tockett on the power play. Samuelson and Daniel for the Flyers. Crucial Niski and Nilsson killing it for the Oilers with Huddy and Muni. Edmonton hopes to clear. Face off is won by the Flyers. Daniel, what will he do with it? Over to Prop. To Kerr. Rister saving a rebound by Andy Bowes. Flyers trying to get past Huddy. They do. Kerr into the zone. Kerr 
slapper. Mo got a piece of that one. Rebound is left behind the net for Muni. 37 seconds in the penalty to Gretzky. And that will be cleared back across the line. One last rush. Here comes Prop. Crucial Niski and Nilsson in for Edmonton. Prop can't get anywhere. They'll dump it around. Talk it to Kerr. They'll pass it up. Kerr to talk it. One timer from the dot. No. Weak shot. Mo got a piece of it. Keeps penalties over. TV timeout. 3.35 to go in the opening stanza. One nothing Philadelphia. They've outshot Edmonton 17 to 9. The great one was at the Cardinals game the other night when they played against Milwaukee. Go yes, he did play for the Blues. You're absolutely right, ID. Gretzky is just a big champion sports fan anyway. Of course, we know who his favorite golfer is, right? He does have one. Gretzky and Kerr, by the way, on this faceoff to the right of Andy Moog. Edmonton just wants to win the blessed thing. It's won by Edmonton. And it goes to Tekin and right now Gretzky. Talk it with a hit. Flyers have it. McCrimmon, long shot. Will he set it up? No, Gretzky hits him back. Here come the Oilers. And they're going to get aggressive with it. Curry tries to break it out. They move it one zone to another, but only to the Flyers. Now prop the other way to Kerr. Kerr to Crossman. Right side, Moog stands tall and pitches. Makes the save. 2 11 first period. It'll be Messier against Poulin on this face off. Anderson to McClellan with the Oilers on the forward lines, and Craven and Brown on with the Flyers. Davey Poulin and Mark Messier will fight for this face off. Angry faces, the play by play says. Messier will win it. Anderson into the zone, and now Marsh gets called for a trip. And with 154 to go in the first, Edmonton has a power play for the rest of the period. It will be Messier out there with Anderson and Nilsson with Lowe and Smith. For the Flyers, Poole and Eklund will kill it with Daniel and Crossman. Edmonton is 0 for 1 in the power play so far. This is power play number 2. Faceoff is won by the Oilers. Messier. Has the puck to Nilsson, to Anderson. Long shot, rebound, Hextall. Rebound goes to Nilsson, to Messier, over to Steve Smith. Nilsson, open on the left. By the dot, shot, rebound, Hextall. Good save, can't control it, Messier. Rebound, shot, scores! Mark Messier! Hextall, no for it, couldn't get it. And the assists come from Nilsson and Smith. And that goal comes with 88 seconds to go in the period. We are tied at one. And you saw, I can't show it to you, but there was a red dot that kind of showed up by Hextall to tell you that was a goal. So Zezel and McTavish will take the face off here. Messier... From Nilsson and Smith at 18.32 of the first period. Mellon B had the other goal, so both the goals have come on the power play. McTavish and Zezel on the faceoff. One by the Flyers. Zezel to Mellon B. And Mellon B's offside. A minute nine to go. Gretzky and Poulin on this face-off, just in front of the Edmonton zone. Gretzky wins it. Tekin in. He'll start the play, but they are offside. So it'll be Messier and Zezel on the dot, just in front of the flyer zone. 54 seconds and change. Here in the first period, Messier wins the face-off. It goes to... Well, it's a given away. Flyers have it at Central. Here's Sinisala, McClellan with a hit. Turn it over. Edmonton has it at center. McClellan, last 20 seconds of the period. McClellan. Anderson open in the middle. He's got it. Hextall makes the save as the period ends. The horn blows. The Flyers, 18 shots to 13. 11 scoring chances to 9. 
Edmonton blocked four, Philadelphia two, and both teams have a power play goal. After one, it is 1-1. One, one. The Flyers and the Oilers. 26 face-offs in that period. And it took a half hour to play. Thereabouts. So the scoring summary, Mellon B from Cinesalo and Zezel made a one nothing Flyers. And Edmonton, uh, that was on the Tekin and trip. And then when Marsh got called for the trip, Messier knocked home a rebound from Nielsen and Smith to make it 1-1. So Gretzky and Kerr at center ice. And Gretzky wins the faceoff over to Curry. And Tekin and Taki go at it right from the get-go. They're throwing some... I didn't hear any punches, though. It's going to be a rough one. So those two are going to go off for wishing each other a happy exhibition season. And it'll be Kerr and Gretzky. Anderson, by the way, will come on the ice. And so I'm not sure how much of the audio you can hear, but if you actually think that you hear punches, that is new this year. And that will be when you get the fighting call. So just two minutes. The gloves never came off at 17 seconds of the second period. However, is that right, guys, Dave? Why would the faceoff be wouldn't the faceoff be outside the zone? What a huge advantage for Edmonton. Gretzky and Kerr on the faceoff. It is won by the Oilers. Edmonton has it. Curry. Cross ice pass to Anderson. Low knuckler shot. Hextall will glove it. And we'll get another face off. This time it's Messier and Zezel. Sinisalo and Brown with Zezel. With Samuelson and Marsh. Crucial Niski and McClelland with Lowe and Huddy. Or never played for St. Louis. That's true. Played for Chicago, though. Doesn't matter who the. I mean, we're on a. Matching minor on a matching penalty, though, wouldn't the face off come at center? Messier hopes to draw this back. One by the Flyers. Zezel, they clear it to center ice only. Crucial Niski, they'll hope to skate it in the zone. They do. Crucial Niski on a wrister deflected by Messier wide, and the Flyers have it. Marsh. To Zezel and Zezel comes in offside. So Gretzky and Kerr on his face off. 18 13 to go in the second. Maybe check my rules. I'm I I'm, didn't see it as an option yesterday. It was just more of a general question. 30 seconds left on the match. I will though after the can I do that now? I don't think I can do check the rules now during the game. Face off in front of the Edmonton zone. One by the F Oilers. Gretzky. Tips it to Greg. Hit by Mellonby, and the Flyers will try to skate it through. A prop in the zone to Kerr. Flyer, that's hit by Anderson. Back comes Edmonton. Penalties are over. Edmonton clears only to center. Now Carson for the Flyers. To Poulin. Loses control. Edmonton. Low. They're going to be aggressive. Nilsson gets it deep. To Puzar in the zone. To Nilsson. Huddy. Long shot from the blue line. Misses to the right. Marsh. They clear. Edmonton will set it up again. This time they'll be more conventional. Low. Up the boards to Nilsson who dumps it in. Pozar to low. Nilsson. Shot. Hextall saving the rebound. Got a stick on it. Marsh knocks it away. Only to Pozar. Nobody open. Edmonton will dump it around. Now Pozar. Yarslav. Don't spit run. Puzar will penetrate. He stick handles. Long shot. Hextall got a hand on it with the blocker. Flyers have it. Everyone changes up. Oh, uh, Samuelson starts this drive. They chep it out all the way down. Coffee over to Gretzky. Anderson. Slapper. Tried to be deflected by Curry. Didn't get very far. It's wide. Here come the Flyers. McCrimmon the other way to Crossman in the zone, and he's offside. 14-30, second period. Still 1-1. Shots 18-16 in, in favor of the Flyers. 
So Gretzky and Kerr. Gretzky doesn't even have a shot on net yet. He's played 10 minutes. Kerr, 12 minutes and four shots on goal. Edmonton's going to get aggressive. It worked. Gretzky won it. He gets it across the line to Tinkin and Curry. Bad angle. Shot wide of the net. Wide left. Flyers. Going to change. McCrimmon. Zezel. Into the Edmonton zone to McCrimmon. He gives it away. Charlie Huddy wants a line change. McTavish dumps it in the corner. Pozar has it over to Coffey. Hunter behind the net. Going to try to find Muni for a long shot, but Daniel made the hit. Here come the Flyers. They change. Carson. To Mellonby. Now they bring it in. Sinisalo to Zezel. Zezel to Mellonby. That's hit by Smith. No shot. Back come the Oilers. They dump it in. Curry to Tikkanen to Gretzky. Over to Smith. That really is who's going to take your shot, huh? Puts it on net. Hextall covers it up. Zezel got tripped. Philadelphia wants a penalty, and as you watch an ad for Molson Export, the Flyers and Mike Keenan are whining for a penalty. Kerry Frazier isn't going to give it to him. And Mick Magoo says, you say one more word, and we're going to take away your tasty cakes. It'll be in the Philadelphia zone. Kerr and Gretzky on the faceoff. Between that front line of Tinkin and Gretzky and Curry, they have two shots. Prop, Kerr, and Tockett have nine. Gretzky hopes to win it and draw it back. Face off is won by the Flyers. They clear it to center. Now Curry the other way. Curry. Coffee open at the blue line. Here's Rister. Scores! From Yari Curry. And Greg, who's hurt and won't be coming back. But what a pass. Curry was charging in. He slid it back to Paul Coffey, and Coffey just wristed it past Hextall to make it 2-1 Edmonton. 11.32 left. Here in the second period, time of the goal, 8.28. First even strength goal, Coffey, from Curry and Greg. And Edmonton has all five shots on goal here in the second period. Poulin and Messier at center ice. Craven and Brown with Poulin. McClellan and Anderson with Messier. Face off is, well, Messier's taken away. Anderson will take it instead and win it. Messier across the line to Coffey. McClellan. He'll rip a long one, but Hextall will save it and will go for the face off. 11.06 to go in the second. Nielsen is out there with Zezel for this face off in the zone. LeMay and Crucial Niski are the forwards for the Oilers. Sinisalo and Mellonby for the Flyers. Nielsen hopes to draw this back. One by Edmonton. LeMay in possession. Crucial Niski is open by the dot. One timer. Hextall with a stop. Trapper catch, and that will be a face-off. 10.31 to go in the second. Poulin is out there now against Gretzky. Second first, same as the first. Face-off won by Edmonton. Gretzky. He gets nailed. He gets back with a puck. Tinkin is open on the left. Gretzky behind the net. Tries to find Tinkin in. One-timer score! So Tikkanen goes over the shoulder, and Gretzky feathered him the pass. And at 10.06 of the second period, it's 3-1 Edmonton. So Gretzky gets the assist, and Tikkanen gets the goal. And that's just as pretty as pretty can be. So 10.06 of the second, and Edmonton has outshot the Flyers 8-0 here in the second period. I'm going to take a drink. All right. 
Coke Zero sick, taken. Kerr and Messier for the face-off. Prop and Tockett with Kerr. McClellan and Anderson with Messier. Face-off is won by Edmonton. Messier shoots it in, but the Flyers will take it back. Marsh to Tockett in the zone. Over to Kerr behind the net. Finds Tockett. One-timer stop by Moe. First shot for the Flyers in the period. 8.54 to go here in the second. Gretzky, first line out, pulling with Craven and Brown for the Flyers. Face-off is won by the Flyers. Pulling to Crossman, to McCrimmon. Throws it on net. Moog saw it all the way. Save and a hold. And we'll get a face-off to the left of Andy Moog. Or Peaches. It'll be Nilsson and Zezel. LeMay and Krusilniski with Nilsson. Sinisalo and Mellonby with Zezel. Thank you, Johnny. Krusilniski will take the face off instead, and they win it. Nilsson over the line to LeMay. Krusilniski may be open for an outside shot. Right side, Rister Hextall denies him, and we'll get a face-off. 8-0-2. How Vermont can you get to go in the second period? And Gretzky and Poulin are out for this face-off. To the left of Hextall. That is one by Edmonton. Smith has taken it open, and maybe in the middle. Drive? No, that misses well left. Here come the Flyers. Brown. And the Flyers come in offside. 7.22. Is ID still here? Good question. I know hockey's not the world's biggest draw on this channel, but we're trying. We're trying, gosh darn it. Oh. He is. ID, what are you cutting up? Dave Gardner is cutting up or prepping for his strats hockey seasons. What are you cutting up, buddy? Messier and Kerr. And since this is a hockey stream, if the strike question comes up, I will read the question and the answer. Kerr and Messier on this face-off in front of the dot in front of the Edmonton zone. Messier wins it. Edmonton will start this possession. Messier over the line to McClellan. Messier is open outside. McClellan from behind the net. Lines and fires, and Messier misses left. Goes wide to the net. Anderson has it. Going to wrap this one around. 83% chance of getting a shot off here. Can he do it? Hextall got a piece of it, and he'll cover up. 6.41 to go in the second. Face off coming. Gretzky and Zezel against each other. All right, so ID Jester is ripping up 19, se or separating the 70, or cutting the 74 NPNG+. Plus. Good baseball game. And Mr. Gardner is doing 71-72 NHL. As Gretzky and Zezel take the face off. One by Gretzky. Still in the Philadelphia zone. Low. Going to take a shot from the blue line. Right side. On net. Hextall gets his glove on it. And we'll do it again. 6.28 to go. Gretzky and Poulin this time on the faceoff. Craven and Brown with Poulin. McCrimmon and Crossman, the defenders for Philadelphia. Smith and Lowe for the Oilers. Gretzky hopes to draw this back. Faceoff won by the Flyers. Poulin, they clear it. Goes all the way down. Oilers will change. Edmonton up at the line. LeMay, and he came across offside. 5.40 to go in the second period. Kerr and Messier on this faceoff. And the Edmonton will get aggressive. They lead 3-1 to one here in the second. Three goals for Edmonton. 24-20. The shots in favor of the Oilers. Face off is won by the Oilers. Messier has it. And now Tockett and Smith are going to exchange some greetings. I think this will be just a roughing call. Yet two minutes of roughing apiece. And that will come... At 14.33 in the second period. So 
We've had one fight, a couple of roughs. Tucker gets called for a second penalty of the game. And again, the faceoff is coming in deep in the flyer zone. Gretzky against Kerr. How you doing, DJ John? Hope you're liking this. First full game with Action PC Hockey 19. And you know what? I have yet to see... Well, not ripping or shredding. I've yet to see anything really new. If you guys have caught something that I haven't, please mention it in the chat. So Kerr and Gretzky. Gretzky will draw this face off back. And it is won by the Flyers. Kerr hit by low. Edmonton at center ice. Huddy's going to skate it in. Everyone changes. Crucial Niski hit by Daniel. Brown, odd man rush the other way for the Flyers. Sinisalo to Brown. Knuckler, no, move. Got a glove on it. And Brown and LeMay will take a few swings at each other. As we see this from Canadian Tire. Hockey Night on YouTube. Edmonton 3, the Flyers 1. Johnny Smoke, not a big hockey fan, but giving this a look. If you don't own the Action PC hockey game, I think you'd be happy with this. If you bought last year's game, I'm not ID. You've kind of watched or listened. If you see anything that strikes you as, as anything more than just barely cosmetic. Kerr and Gretzky from the Edmonton Zone. Gretzky just wants to win it. 3-1 Edmonton. Won by the Flyers. Goes to prop, at least at the start. Mellonby takes the shot. Moog with the save. And glove on it. 44 seconds left in the matching minors. And again, this time it's Zezel and Gretzky. Goldie card questions. Okay, I hear Jeopardy music. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, ID's talking about the changes. We talked a little bit about those last night. Gretzky and Zezel on the faceoff. One by Edmonton. Send ahead to open ice. Curry dumps it around the zone. Gretzky behind the net over to Tekin. And Tekin and finds Low. Low slaps one on. Blocked by Samuelson. Flyers have it. Sinisalo the other way. Into the Edmonton zone. Zezel is hit by Gretzky. Edmonton. Line changes everywhere. Messier through center over to McClellan. McClellan between the dots. That misses wide right. And McCrimmon actually got a piece of it and somehow knocked it out of bounds. Right of play. 2.57 to go. Face off coming. Between Nelson and Kerr to the left of Hextall. Um, all right. The, read, uh, the question, goalie question. Uh, says save and then breakaway 1-16. to 16. Which team would get the breakaway, the goalies team or the team that just took the shot? Tony Whitehill asks, is Don Cherry going to make an appearance? you think he would between these two teams. This has been rock'em, sock'em all the way. Had a fight and two roughing penalties. 3-1 to one, Edmonton, 2.57 to go in the second. It doesn't clarify that question in the rules, Dave. Goalie makes a save and then sends his team on a breakaway and a split roll. Okay. So that answers the Strat question. And by the way, 7 o'clock Monday night, Strat virtual unboxing. For the 2018-19 season. Kerr and Nilsson will take the face off. Edmonton wins it. Nilsson has it. No one really open. They'll set up another passing play. Nilsson doesn't again have anyone open. 2.25 to go in the second. Crucial Niski to Nilsson to LeMay. Mo LeMay. That sounds like a cooking dish to me. Can't shoot anyway, so he's going to take an outside shot. No one in front of the net. Hextall makes the save, and Edmonton got a face off out of that, so they'll take it. 25 22 shots in favor of the Oilers. 2.05 to go. Gretzky out there with Curry and Tekin and pulling out there with Craven and Brown. 
Uh, no, I'll read this. Absolutely. Uh, my opinion is this hockey version is pretty poor. There is just so fluff added to the hockey game, but not a single addition to add to the gameplay. I would agree with that. In the little pre-play I did this afternoon, I did see someone shadow somebody else. But you're absolutely right. I hate to ever go against an action PC game because I think overall it's good. If you haven't upgraded in a couple years, I would do it. If you were a fan of the Blues, Bruins, or Lightning, I would do it just to get the season. But if you just if you bought it last year, aren't really interested in the modern season, I'd skip. And it's the first time ever I would say to skip an action PC game. It's all tools and management stuff that was added to the game, so an extra text for gameplay. But yeah, you know, really kind of, I would agree. I would absolutely agree with that. Really disappointed. It's, like I said, if it's been two or three years, it's worth it. If you just upgraded last year, and like I said, not a fan of, well, you could be an Islander fan because they had a pretty good year. If you're not a fan of the modern season or in a draft league, I, I agree with ID Jester. Save your money. Gretzky and Pullen. On the faceoff. One by the Oilers. Drawn back to Huddy. To Curry. Behind the net. Nobody really open. Edmonton takes their time. Huddy in possession. Curry's open in the middle. Pass from Huddy. Low shot from Curry. Scores! Yari Curry from Charlie Huddy. And Wayne. Gretzky makes it 4-1 to one Edmonton. So Curry, Gretzky gets a second assist. Curry's first goal. Huddy with one point. And that comes at 18.35. So he's won one after one. And now Edmonton with three here in the second. You, he's setting up for... Pretty much an as-played replay with some of this stuff, but I don't believe any of the... You have to work awful hard to get to know who's exactly dressed. Draft League stuff, this seems to be a good improvement. But even the basketball game got a fictional um, element added this year. I haven't seen anyone who's used it. Um, and you still can't replay a chalkboard on a goal, which to me makes absolutely no sense. Sports Time Machine, how are you? And the real game, 7? Edmonton won. Tony might know. Tony Whitehill's my hockey guru. Tony Whitehill and Dave Gardner, who need to get together and trade stories. Um, Zezel and Messier on his faceoff. Sinisalo and Mellonby with Zezel. McClellan and Anderson with Messier. 4-1 to one Edmonton. End of the second period. Faceoff was won by the Flyers. Mellonby to Daniel. He'll dump it in. Nope, Edmonton is hit by Messier. Messier has it in the zone, and they will... Flyers aren't giving him anything. Setting it up over to Anderson. Anderson's going to penetrate on poor Peter Zezel here. This could be bad. Anderson drives it in. One-on-one -on -one with Hextall. Ronnie makes the save. Oh, rebound. Controlled by the Flyers. Both teams change. Flyers send it back out, but only to, to McTavish. And they set up the other way. I want to think it's like 4-1, 4-2. Edmonton was the final. McTavish across the line. Slaps one. Blocked by Marsh as the period comes to an end. And Derek Smith will hold the puck. So after two here at Northlands Coliseum, it's Edmonton 4, the Flyers 1. Shots on the period, 14 to 4. Scoring chances, 10 to 2. The Flyers did block three chances. And there were no power plays here in the second period. We go to the third in a moment. This is an Action PC Hockey 2019 special brought to you by HockeyTournaments.com. We'll leave that one for you. Edmonton won at three to one. Game seven, and I believe, I believe that was the um, only series that Edmonton didn't win in four or five.
Oh, yeah. While you look at those stats, and while I wait for the proverbial burp that comes with drinking soda, has anyone out there seen the Sports Sim magazine that was published or listened to the great interview that Dave Gardner did with S.T. Patrick the other day? That's the latest episode of the Digital to Dice podcast. Dave did a nice one-on-one interview with S.T. Patrick. So if you haven't given that a listen to, you should at digitaldice.com. On Spreaker, iTunes, and where good podcasts are listed everywhere. So we said 14-4, to 4, the shots for the Oilers. They've won 30 face-off to the Flyers, 19. And we start the third period. Gretzky against Kerr. Curry and Tikkanen. Gretzky is two assists. Curry with two points. Huddy and Coffey out there for the Oilers. Kerr has prop and talk it on the wings. McCrimmon and Crossman, the defenders. And here we go, 20 minutes left at the Northlands Coliseum for the Oilers. Kerr won the face off over to Prop. McCrimmon. Billy's got a press. Moog with the save. Kicks the rebound to the left. Battled for and taken by Coffey, and back comes Edmonton. Gretzky starts his drive out of the zone to Tekin and Curry behind the net to Coffey. Gretzky. Long wrister, Hextall with the save. 19-14 to go. Messier and Poulin out for this faceoff. Messier hopes to draw it back. Faceoff was won by Edmonton. Uh, Messier to Coffey. Coffey going to take the long shot from the blue line himself. And that is saved and held by Ronnie Hextall. 18-40 to go. Gretzky's line is in. Sent Zezel out there with Sinisalo and Mellonby. It's like pulling teeth lately to get SOM to add any strand immaculate any new more realistic features, plus a lot of sales and discounts. Um Um That was kind of a quick one. Who is, yeah, uh, no, it's not, no, that's his name, is S.T. Patrick. Gretzky and Zezel this time in front of Hextall on the left. Gretzky hopes to draw it back. Face off is won by Edmonton. Gretzky does draw it back. Uh, Huddy, Huddy, oh my goodness, he's got Tekin and open in the slot. Tekin and... Well, shoot, scores! That's a Tekin in from Sally Huddy. He went top shelf, and that's a second for Tekin in. He gets it from Huddy and Gretzky at 251. Of the third. So Edmonton has kind of opened up the floodgates 5 to 1. And so the shots are 3 to 1, Edmonton here in the third. So the Flyers, they've got a mountain to climb. Shots 30 to 23 in favor of the Oilers. Nilsson and Kerr at center for this faceoff. One by Edmonton. Nilsson won it. Crucial Niski gets in the zone. And Tockett and LeMay are throwing punches at each other. This is an actual honest to goodness fight. And they go at it at center ice. And, oh, boy, the gloves are off. That one's a draw. But Tockett and LeMay get five for fighting. That sounds like a song. And the time of this penalty comes at 2.16 of the third. So the Flyers, again, have to face a face-off in their own zone. Messier versus Zezel. Anderson and McClellan with Messier. Sinisala will take it instead of Zezel. And the faceoff is won by Edmonton. Messier to low. Low. Will shoot. Puts it on the net. Hextall will make a save. 17 13. I got a sneeze. Uh, Excuse me. They don't have a sneeze button. One more? Ah, no, it's going to come after this face-off, isn't it? Gretzky and Kerr will take this face-off. 4.29 to go in the matching majors. Face-off is won, but this time by the Flyers. Kerr will win it. 
Mellonby up the wing into the Edmonton zone to Samuelson to Marsh with a shot. Moog saving a rebound. Kicks it away. Loose puck controlled by Huddy. Edmonton has it. Everyone will change as they send people out. Crucial Niski dumps it in the corner. Now Hunter. Long shot for the uh, Oilers. Hextall gets a glove on it. 16.33 to go. 3.49 in the majors. And Gretzky and Kerr are on the faceoffs. Zezel was in the movie uh, Youngblood along with Paul Cavallini and Steve Thomas. Ah, oh, to talk it bit on his own fight. <laughs> what is the biggest comeback you've had? Anything more than two goals? Yeah. Um... Strange things can happen. A th there is no such... I don't know why I'm hearing an echo. There is no such thing as a safe three-goal lead. Let's just put it that way. Probably one or two max. Um, but again, you got to have a team that's good on offense. We'll see what the Flyers do. But in an era where there was just a lot of scoring, I don't see Philadelphia coming back from four down with this much time left. But... You never know. And, yeah, Dave had a game where he put 60 shots on Dryden. And, of course, the computer recognized greatness when it saw it and only gave him one goal. Wink, wink. Gretzky and Kerr on the faceoff. Puck is dropped. It is won by the Flyers. They hope to get it out of the zone. Prop. Tekin in. Oh, checked him right in the bench. Edmonton has it at center. Low. They dump it in, and the Flyers will take it behind the net. Brown. The Sinisalo. McCrimmon, that is a save. Oh, no, low block the shot. Edmonton will get it and change. Smith to Curry. Dumps it into Gretzky. In the zone, shot Hextall with a save. 15 12 to go. 228 halfway through the fight penalties. Nielsen and Poulin will do the faceoff. Hunter and Crucial Niski with Nielsen. Craven and Carson with Poulin. Nielsen hopes to draw this back. Faceoff is won by the Flyers. Poulin sets up the breakout to Marsh, and he's hit by Crucial Niski. Edmonton has it at center. Curry dumps it in the zone. Flyers take it back out. 141 to go in the, fight, in the fighting pagers. Sinisalo to Zezel to Brown over the line. Brown with the shot. Moog with the save. And a rebound. Marsh has it again. Marsh to Sinisalo behind the net. Sinisalo will work a shot, but that one misses horribly well. Oh, no. The, man, that chalkboard is bad because it looked like it missed Moog by about 10 feet, and it said he deflected it out of play. Anyway, here's an ad for your local Esso dealer. Hoods up for Esso. This is Action PC Hockey 19 Special. Edmonton and Philadelphia from the 87 Stanley Cup, right here on Retro Sports Network. ID Jester says, I played a lot of DK hockey and don't remember if I've ever come from three down, maybe just a few times back from two, and that was with the Blackhawks and the championship team. Um, I don't usually play teams that I find myself all that far behind. I did a complete season replay using the 75-76 Islanders, and they just beat the crap out of everybody, except for Philadelphia and Montreal. Um, with a good offense, you're just not going to get in that position. I, I have blown like a two-goal lead late. I think either Kansas City or Vancouver took a point away from me. Uncle Ron was not a happy camper. Anyway, Gretzky and Kerr, We'll take this face off in front of Andy Moog. Gretzky just wants a balance. He'll win the face off. Uh, and then Curry. Mellonby with a hit, and we got ourselves a power play. Now, Prop and Tekin in exchange a few words. Mellonby will get two minutes, 36 seconds left on the Tocket LeMay scrum. And this one comes at 640, the third period. So Edmonton. Out shot the Flyers six to four so far in the period. Third power play for Edmonton. The Flyers have three. Pullen and Gretzky 
with the face off. Gretzky wins it. Dumps it out back. Controlled by Tinkinen. Back to Gretzky. One timer for Smith. Hextall gives up the rebound. Not a piece of it. Leaves it for Crossman. Philadelphia clears. Smith will set up this drive. 125 to go in the minor. Curry to Gretzky. Back to Curry at center. To Gretzky. Finally to take it into the zone. Curry's open outside from Tikkanen. I promise, Mama. Look at the pictures in a moment. Curry shoots. Gretzky deflects and de deflects it wide. Coffee from the blue line. Shot. Hextall saw that one all the way. We got a save in a hole. A 105 in the power play. Left in the Mellonby penalty. 12.25 to go in the game. 5-1 Edmonton as we play the first streaming game of Action PC Hockey 2019. Messier with Nilsson and Anderson. Tockett and Kerr out for the Flyers. Hoods up for Protex. Ha, 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 ha. It was corny. But we remember it 30 years later. That's the scary thing. I was playing. Oh, I'm wondering offhand about the game engine. Just wondering what you guys think of the solid. As far as playing a game of hockey, it plays a good game of hockey. I think last year was the big update for it, which I think is kind of why we're all underwhelmed. Um, I, like I said, I've done a full season replay with Action PC Hockey and enjoyed it immensely. I took the 75-76 uh, Islanders to the Stanley Cup Final, thanks to the fact that um, Philadelphia got beat by the Bruins, I think, early. Um, and so it's a, it's a game I play a bunch um, but not one I necessarily stream a lot because the numbers don't really justify it. Tony Whitehill says, I was playing Stratomatic Hockey once playing with the 2002 U.S. Olympic team. I was down three uh, late in the third against Russia and came to win in a shootout. Did TJ? No, that's going to be before TJ Oshie, isn't it? Anyway, Messier and Kerr on the faceoff. Faceoff was won by the Flyers. Flyers clear, and it'll be low. 54 seconds to go in the power play. Messier into the zone, over to Nielsen. Huddy. One-timer. Hextall gives up the rebound. Controlled by Eklund. First time we've seen him tonight. Philadelphia clears it all the way down. One last chance. Nielsen in the zone, over to Anderson. Huddy, long shot. Rebound, Hextall. Huddy has it. Huddy. Nilsson open in the slot. Between the dots. Shoots. Scores. Nilsson from Huddy is third assist. Everybody throw a stick in the air. And wow. Hextall gets yanked for Chico Resch. And the power play is over. 6-1 Edmonton. Chico still has good numbers. I didn't realize he was playing that late. And unlike Billy Smith, his sportsmanship's a 10. So Zezel and McTavish on the faceoff. Hunter and Puzar with McTavish. Mellon being... All right. <laughs> it's kind of like being in my room at home, you know, every once in a while. Uh, Samuelson and Marsh, the defenders for the Flyers, Coffee and Muni for Edmonton. So, Flyers win the faceoff. They dump it in the other way, and there's the first icing call I've seen. So, that's exactly what the Flyers need. Gretzky, Curry, and Tekin in taking a faceoff. 10.58 to go deep in the Flyer zone. Faceoff is won by the Flyers. Coffee to Tikkanen. Coffee has it now. Slaps it in right side. Blocked by Prop. Flyers have it. Let's see if they actually press. Samuelson starts this drive. Brown checked by Puzar. And Puzar gets called for the charge. And so the Flyers will go on the power play for the fourth time. Zezel with Sinisalo and Mellonby are out to start the power play. Samuelson and Daniel are on defense. McTavish and Hunter will try to kill this for Edmonton. Huddy and Coffee are the defensemen. Face off. 
to the right of Moog, or to the left of Moog. One by the Flyers. Zezel, Mellonby, to Zezel, Daniel. Not sure, Daniel, you want to be the one taking the shot here. JJ, blocked by Coffin. Got to skate on it. Sinisalo, back to Zezel. Philadelphia passes it around. Daniel throws it on the net. Moog makes the save. 136 to go in the power play. Zezel will be facing Crucial Niski on this faceoff. Sinisalo and Mellonby with Mr. Zezel. Faceoff is won by the Flyers. They've not won a lot tonight. Zezel to Marsh. Slapper. Moog. Got the glove on it, and we'll get a face on. Again, you would think that you would, down at 17 gazillion goals, you'd want a, a really offensive line out there. But Zezel with Sinisalo and Mellonby, Crucial, Niski, and Nilsson for the Oilers. Face off is won by the Oilers, and they will try to clear, I'm sure. Low hit by Zezel. Philadelphia. Zezel behind the net. Sinisalo. Slapper. Rebound given up by Moog. Blocker. Loose in front. Mellonby. Won't get the shot. Mellonby. Shoots high. Moog saw that all the way. Got a piece of it. Five hole. Crucial Miski clears only to center. Mellonby to Sinisalo. One timer. Odds par. Saved by Moog. Bounces away. Edmonton has it. 37 seconds left in the power play. Edmonton clears it. Zezel. Half minute to go in the power play. Sinisalo in the zone to Marsh. To Sinisalo. From the left dot, say, or from the right dot, save in a hold, and that's the power play. 8.09 to go in the game. Flyers have 10 shots in the period. Edmonton has 11. So McTavish and Poulin out for the faceoff. Fourth line out for Edmonton. Crossman and Daniel on defense for the Flyers. Coffee's been out there 27 minutes, is out there with Muni. Yeah, after Hexall, hack it to pieces. <laughs> uh, I bet you did, Dave. Uh, yeah, 87 and 76 Canada Cups. So Poon and McTavish out for this face-off. My God, people are still watching. Here we go. Face-off is going to be won by the Oilers. And McTavish, they clear it all the way down. And the Flyers finally get an icing call. Pele Eklund, along with Smith and Carson, McTavish, Puzar, and Hunter for Edmonton. 7.50 to go. Eklund and McTavish fight for the faceoff. Won by the Oilers. McTavish kicked it out. Crossman got past Crossman. Now he gets Puzar. The Flyers have it. Derek Smith behind the Edmonton net. He's going to get a... Nope. A shot. Moog with the save. Rebound is loose. And Edmonton will clear it. Coffey the other way comes across offside. 6.58 to go. Shots 38-33. I would say ID the shot. You know, Philadelphia is still being aggressive. But they're getting their tushy kicks. It'll be Nilsson and Poulin on his face off. You haven't seen a lot of Gretzky in a bit either. And they face it off in front of the Flyers. Zone. Poulin wins it. Kicks it back in. Craven over to Poulin. Poulin skates it across. Takes the shot. That is saving a rebound by Moog. Puck is loose. Craven and Nilsson fight for it along the board. Edmonton has the puck. Nilsson will try to skate it out. McTavish has it. McTavish has control. Behind the net. No one really open. They'll skate it around again. Hunter hit by Brown. Here come the Flyers. They control the puck. Craven under six minutes to go. Both teams change. Smith in the zone. And they get Smith got leveled. And LeMay is hurt. We got a TV timeout. 534 to go. Enough time for you to go to the fridge one more time to get a Molson export. There's nothing halfway about it. X says it all. 
6-1 Edmonton. Yeah, this has not been a great game overall. And then after the game, I will give you my honest thoughts on Action PC Hockey uh, 19. So McTavish and Poulin on the faceoff. Craven and Brown with the, for the Flyers. Crossman and Daniel on defense. Muni and Coffey are out with McTavish, Curry, and Pozar. Gretzky's just kind of sitting there waiting to get his trophy. Linesman drops the puck. Won by Edmonton. Pozar hit by Brown. Philadelphia has it. Brown over the line of Daniel. Craven to Poulin. Poulin's got a shot. That misses wide right. Controlled by Brown. Flyers might actually get a shot here. Brown shoots Moog with a save. And they hold it. And with 4.38 to go. Face off coming in the Edmonton zone. Poulin with Nielsen on this one. Craven and Brown with Poulin. Crucial Niski and Hunter for Edmonton. 4.38. Philly's catching up on the shots. Andy Moog has just had himself a whale of a night. Peaches. Face-off is won by Edmonton. Crucial, Nilsson. They dump it out. Crucial, Niski flips it down. Hunter. Lowe has it to Nilsson. Over to Smith. M Nilsson's open in the middle. He shoots and scores! The Rex never saw that one. Put the line in the coconut. And you get the bellyache. And it's now 7-1 Edmonton. That one came from Smith. Chico was not the man there, and Nilsson gets his second of the game. That comes at 15.54, and it's 7-1. I will say this. In a blowout situation, I've not seen Wayne Gretzky take a shift in about 10 minutes. So Nilsson and Eglin out for the faceoff. So, again, changes in this game are kind of subtle from addition to addition. And so there's no reason to be running Gretzky out there with four minutes to go and a 17,000 goal lead. Nilsson and Eklund for the faceoff, and that is won by the Oilers. Plays it in the far corner. Hunter will chase it down over to Coffey. They set up again. Hunter behind the net. Edmonton will kill some clock. They send it back up. Coffey. Blue line shot. One timer. Chico makes the save. Flyers have it. They'll change up. Three and change to go in the ball game. Curry is taken off his stick. Curry has it. McTavish. Bill is passing around to kill some more clock. Low to McTavish. Craig McTavish will try penetrate on Hospitar. He gets past him. Here comes the shot. Chico makes that save. Rebound is loose. Knocked away by McCrimmon. Pozar has it. Curry's open on the right. Wrist that one right off the pad of Chico Resch. Denied. Rebound McCrimmon and the Flyers clear it to center. Here's Hunter. And with 223, they're just going to play dump and chase. They're dumping around. Daniel has the puck. Under two minutes to go. Into the Edmonton zone. Derek Smith slaps one on to Moog, who makes the save. Andy, by the way, has made 35 saves. And so the faceoff with 145 to go. Eklund and McTavish will gather for this faceoff. Curry getting some time in. Coffee's played 31 minutes. So the face-off is actually won by Edmonton. Of course it was. McTavish to Coffey. Blue line special. That misses everything. That went high and wide left. Flyers have it. They'll skate it up. Flyers take it out of their zone. Eklund from Crawford. Hit by Nilsson. Lowe has it the other way. Two on one rush. Crucial. Niski got nailed. Breakaway coming for the Edmonton. Crystal Niski shoots. Resch makes the stop. 
bounces away. Rebound controlled by Carson. Here come the Flyers. Both teams change. Craven to Poulin. They dump it in. Moog leaves it behind the net for Munich. Edmonton plays it out to center. Hospital into Poulin. Flyers have a chance. Brown. Last minute of the ball game, uh, the hockey game. Moog with the save. So 36 saves for Andy. And the Flyers get a zone faceoff. Poulin against Nilsson. Edmonton just wants this game to be over with. Face off won by Edmonton. Oh, my goodness. Crucial Niski to Nilsson across the line. Nilsson. Long shot. Resch gives up the rebound. Kick save into Butte. Flyers change it up. They dump it in the zone. Smith to Carson. Over to Eklund. That misses wide. 45 seconds to go in the game. Smith clears it. Flyers have it at center. Brown to Poulin. Brown. Slapper. That's blocked by Lowe. Oilers have it. Lowe just skates it out. Last 35 seconds of the game. Icing called. And the faceoff coming to the right of Andy Moog. 33 seconds to go. Eklund and Nilsson on the faceoff. Um, you'd probably have a good time doing that, Rob. Nelson and Eklund on the face-off, and Edmonton controls it again. Hutter in the zone, over to Nelson. Craig Muni going to take the shot. He's got a mid-range shot, 0 to 10%. That's new. I don't think they care. Blocked by Hodspar as the time expires. Flyers, one won't even get down. And that's the hockey game. And so it was all Edmonton after the first period. If this was game seven, it would not be classic, but the cup would belong to the Oilers. They win this one 7-1. to one. Third period stats, 17 shots to 15 for Edmonton. Scoring chances 12-1. to one. And Edmonton went one for one on the power play. The Flyers did not. So let's see the box score. We went through most of this already. The three stars, your number three star, Yari Curry, a goal and two is, and an assist. Esatikin in your number two star with two goals. And Nilsson with two goals and an assist is your number one star. Personally, I would have given Andy Moog a star. He saved 36 of 37 shots. Jesus Criminy and Paul Coffey had the game winner. All right, honest thoughts on the game. We talked about it a little bit earlier. If you bought last year's version, unless you are a big Lightning Bruins or um, St. Louis Blues fan, or you do a draft league, no. No. Unless you have one of those reasons. It's the first time ever I would not give action P an Action PC new version a good um, a recommendation. It just There just isn't anything really different that the casual player or even a, a seasoned replayer is going to get something out of. I saw maybe one or two lines of play-by-play -play text. There have been lots of reports of runtime errors in the game. Um, I mean, if, if it's been three or four years, absolutely. It plays a good game of hockey. But if you bought last year and are wondering whether or not to spend your money this year, I honestly can say I don't recommend it, um, which is too bad, which is really too bad. Um, we'll do more with Action PC, and maybe there'll be more stuff, but most of the changes were for draft leagues, and I think they're setting up for the future. All right, let's see anything in the chat. Um, I think that will... So there you go. All right, well, thanks for hanging with me. And watching this one for you, we'll do an Ask Uncle Ron at some point tomorrow. I'm not sure when. Uh, Sunday will be a National League semifinal for that 60s tournament, noon Eastern. And at 7 o'clock Monday night, we'll do a virtual unboxing of Stratomatic Hockey PC-19. And probably either play, yeah, I think we'll do the Bruins and the Blues.
because that was a series and a half. All right, so thanks a bunch for sticking with us. The final score in this replay, game Edmonton 7, the Flyers 1. Dave Little, I think, is going to win a History Maker baseball game in a bit. Go check out his channel on the Epic Sports Broadcasting Network. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have yourself a wonderful night, and thanks again for all of you for 400 subscribers. Good night.